Hello everybody and welcome back to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. Do you want to know how to get this really cool spin wheel so you can spin a spin wheel during your live stream? Stick around and we will show you how it is done. What you're going to want to do is go to streamlabs.com. You can actually just go to streamlabs.com. You can Google it and type streamlabs and it's probably the first link you'll find. Or you can use the link in the description below. So once you go in there, you want to make sure you're logged in. This has to be logged into your account in order for it to be working because uh, it has to access the information. So when you first sign in it's going to have you log in with like twitch or youtube mixer whatever uh, i'm going to log in with youtube over here you're going to choose your account here and then you're going to allow basically you want to allow streamlabs it's perfectly safe it's not going to do anything bad it's not going to take over your videos so this is just fine you want to allow it to be able to access the information basically it needs to know things about your channel once you're all logged in this is basically the main access page there's so many other things and there's videos on my channel that show kind of how you can do all these different things with the alert box and whatever so on this one you want to pick the spin wheel see, see down here it says the spin wheel so to add that you have to you're gonna have a list of things you're gonna get one to basically clear the categories and get rid of all sorts of stuff let me demonstrate this here for you real quick uh, just basically we'll add a category we'll call this uh, donut so we got a donut category we can pick a custom color if you come over here uh, so I'll usually try to go for you know not colors that are already in there so if we've got like kind of a, a yellow we've got a red I don't really see much of an orange color here so I'm gonna pick orange uh, okay so that's kind of gonna stand out from all the other colors uh, sometimes you got to go you know depending on how many options you have you got to go with the same color a couple times and then here for the section weights you can add the sections and when you click on this it will let you select one of the options that you have up here in the categories so I can come in here and I can pick donut and then that is going to be donut so this is these are gonna be the options on my wheel and the colors are going to look like this and down here basically the results you just say you won I leave that the way it is you can pick a different font if you want a different font uh, it's it's up to you you can test those out font size uh, I'm gonna make mine just a little bit bigger here and a bigger font weight let's say that text color is going to be black so it's going to be black written over these colors so if you have a black color here and your text is black then it's not going to show up so uh, just be aware of that you can get the height and the width basically different things about your text like the size that you want it to be but uh, you can leave these the way they are you can mess with them uh, you can change the speed at which it moves you can change the speed at which it slows down uh, you can have the the hide timeout so as it says down here if it's set to zero basically it's just going to leave the spin wheel up there and you can use OBS to kind of make it show up or leave if you want it to leave or just disappear after a spin then you can set this I like to set it to zero and then just in OBS I can control turning it on and off and then that way you know you can look at the result long enough and it doesn't just disappear on you before you get a chance to see the result so the ticker image here is for what is what is going to be stable there uh, you can upload files of your own and you can also just use their stock files uh, I use one of their stock files. They've got little uh, sounds that you can add there. Let's say we're just going to go with uh, a Mario and Yoshi sticker there. And then we're going to select. And that will be the image that is basically there in the top of the wheel. And, and whatever it lands on, whatever option lands on him, is the one that wins. So this is the ticker tone. And this is just the sound tone, basically, uh, that it makes. Uh, I would just leave that the way it is. Uh, center image you can change your your image for the center of the wheel if you want if you don't want uh, you can use their media files that they have you can use your own files I use my own file here for my channel let's see we can enable the image border so basically let's leave this stuff kind of the way it is uh, we're not gonna do any custom HTML or anything this is just gonna be more of a simple tutorial save those settings and then up here so when you're actually doing your live stream you want to have this open uh, but first you're gonna have to go and copy this little URL so copy that and then after you copy that now you're going to want to go into OBS. I'm assuming you guys mostly know how to use OBS Studio here. You can search for OBS on Google or again you can check the link in the description for OBS Studio. It is another free and safe program. You can use it to record your screen. You can use it to record. Uh, you can use it to do your live streams. Uh, and you can use it for browser resources. Uh, XSplit can use browser resources too. Make sure if you have OBS, if you don't have this option here, which is browser source, you might have to uninstall and reinstall it because it's an add-on and you have to select it to make sure that you do that. If you install OBS, just select all of the add-ons and make sure that you can add a browser source. So remember this, this, uh, this little thing that we copied right here? We copied that and we're going to come in here and we're going to add a scene and then here we're going to go to browser source 
and then in browser source we can just call this a uh, spin wheel basically is what I'm gonna call it you can call it whatever you want uh, to help you remember that it's a spin wheel and then here when it says the URL delete this one and then paste that URL that you copied over there. You can also change the height and the width of the object. I, I like to do it kind of like a square shape. So I'm gonna do 800 by 800 and then click on okay. So we've got this, this object here. See, we've got this little spin wheel. You can make it as big or as small as you want in OBS. Uh, I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger, just so it kind of shows up in the front and in the middle. Okay, making the screen just a little bit bigger. Uh, so we're going to move this over the side so you can see the demonstration of it and then we're going to go back to here where we've got Streamlabs open. So in Streamlabs, if you want to spin the wheel here, see that you've got the wheel on there, it's got all the options and the options coincide with the colors that we've got there like jailbreak here is green and it's green on here, it's got the black writing and it's all split up pretty well there. Oh, I've got two donuts on there. So I've got donut here, let's see what happened. Oh, look, I've got two donuts. So as you can see here, uh, it looks like so I somehow put two donuts on there, so it says donut, donut. Let's see what happens if I get rid of that right away. And there we go, our spin wheel is back. The second donut is gone, so it is good to go. But as you can see, uh, even if you have one of the categories here, it's not gonna look like what you have here in the categories. It's gonna be here in the section weights. And if you have two of, two of any category in here in the section weights, then it's going to coincide to your spin wheel as well. So when I'm running my live stream, I just basically have this eye unchecked for the spin wheel and it's basically in the background, you can't see it. And then when you wanna go and spin, you can just turn the eye on and then you can go to the top here in Streamlabs and then click on this spin up here at the top. You can click on spin and then as you can see, it spins it and then whichever it lands on here, oh, looks like it landed on jailbreak. So uh, in, during the game, if I was playing, then I would play jailbreak. I got to see what it was. It's not disappearing on its own, so I have to press this eye again to get rid of it. So that's about it. That is how to add this awesome spin wheel onto your live streams. Make sure that uh, when you're done, you put it away because if there's a spin wheel in there during your whole live stream, then it's it might be a little bit annoying. So you may also just choose to have it go away automatically after you're done spinning. I hope this has been super helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, please put those in the comments below. Please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notified every time we come out with some fun videos, whether they're tutorial or live streams or whatever.